We love all old vehicles, but Dodge is where my heart lies for sure. This keeps happening. Uh, it's a little bit more gas in the carburetor. I got an idea, but we'll see first. I think you'd be surprised how good it would work. The thing that gets me is how much better it would be with the Cummins is the weight distribution. It's time to hit the road and find some more junkyards. All right, big red Ram was running, won't start. So technically it's a will it run. Trucks Famous was on the Highway to Hell show. Here we go. All right, well, now we're talking. You guys, if you've watched any episode, you'll understand that yes, we love all old vehicles. But Dodge is where my heart lies for sure. Now, Bobo is on the fence, Chevy Dodge. He loves Dodge trucks, Dodge Mopars, but he also leans towards the old Chevys, which is fine, we love them all. Now, this truck, you may recognize it. Leave a comment if you do, and uh, let us know if you think a 360 is powerful enough for a 110 wrecker. I think it would be just enough. It looks a bit small in there, and I don't know about this radiator. It looks like it's out of a six cylinder Jeep. That being said, we've deduced that it's a dead battery right now. And apparently it was running fine. And then I see it, we're good. Careful with your wing nuts and that. Got a location on both of them, we're good. Come on, there we go. Don't lose the second one or that. Uh, it was running. And then one day it just, it cranked but wouldn't fire. So it's carbureted, it was running fine. We should be able to figure it out. <coughs> now, to date, I've never ever failed at getting a Dodge to run. So, there's so much stuff, don't do this. Don't drop stuff either. Make sure I pick those up after, Bobo. When you can't get the wrench in because you got so much on it, it's a bad sign. I don't know how they would have even tightened that properly. Get the box end on. There we go. This battery's dead, so I'm not worried about arcing really, but okay. Interesting setup. Not how I do wiring, but I guess it gets the job done. And especially in tow trucks, that's kind of the goal, is just getting the job done. Now, the battery's got no handle on it. Okay, and this one, the posts are on the other side on this battery that we brought with us, but it should work. And it was cranking a Ford 390 yesterday, so it should have enough juice to crank this. We can move it over a bit. The ground doesn't want to reach. Lovely. This keeps happening. Uh, why does this keep happening? Um, for now, can we just go like this? Yeah. We can get that up and over maybe. See, it only fits right here. ground hooked up first <sighs> now obviously you wouldn't want to drive like this but we got it on we got to get a battery that's got the other side why is this never a problem with the Optima are they like in the middle or something no Optima's are on the, the one side but it's the way yeah it just it's just our luck these days. Either way, we're not gonna drive anywhere with this, so this battery should have enough charge to at least crank this thing and find out. So first we'll find out if it even cranks properly. Everything's hooked up. I'm gonna go crank it. Make sure we're in neutral. So we'll find out if it's got spark pretty easily. I don't know if I can get to the vent tube. <sighs> got it. <laughs> I love your gas bottle, bro. 
Yeah, I mean, so what I'm doing there, you guys probably seen me do it before. I've got the bottle in the vent tube, so it'll fill the float bowl up. And then I'll splash a little bit down the throat, and then we'll find out. If it coughs a bit, we know it's got spark. I got a pretty good idea what it might be already, being a Dodge. Okay. Let's see here. like it wanted to run and then just die let's see here see if I can get a little more down the throat it's got an electric fuel pump the jokes closed now the end of the vent hmm it made noise that's a good start but as soon as I let go of the key, it died, like from cranking. So let's see here. We'll just we'll keep trying. It's a little bit more gas in the carburetor. I got an idea, but we'll see first. Okay. spark through the ballast resistor that's what I was thinking let me see if I got another one here and that's what he said it fires up and then blah. and then sometimes run for a second and then it just dies very essential part in a dodge where is it there it is right there in the corner there's one. Ooh, that wire's hot yeah okay that red wire was warm Now, you should ground these. They don't have to be, but you should. Well, our old Bausch resistor is a bit rusty there, but okay. Just stick that like that, put a little more fuel down into her. Get the vent again. Where are you, vent? There you go. Really, it should have enough fuel up here. Well, the vent's not overflowing. Some gas down the throat, not a whole lot. Now, let's see if I can keep it running now that that's there. Okay. filter no she's probably dry okay well let's uh should have a valve maybe too for the fuel there's the factory fuel pump unhooked so the fuel pump died that's for sure is this you know what if we just 
Where's the electric pump? I wonder if I can get to the feed. Where are you? Fuel line comes around there. She must be completely empty. Smells pretty stale in there, but you'd think, because I can hear that electric pump on. Let's just leave it on for a second, see if we can get fuel into that filter. hear it. You watch the filter. I'm going to see if I can get her already. Hard to tell where it is. Nothing yet. And there's no fuel in it. Yeah, it would have pumped something by now. So, we got our fuel rig. Let's hook ours to that filter. There's no gas in this thing, obviously. <laughs> Which is actually a good thing. That electric pump would have put fuel up there by now. So, we can easily pull that off and put our fuel pump and the little jerry can on it and put fuel to her. It looks like somebody put a lot of effort into making this thing run good. It's got relatively new plug wires. I see a new cap back there. So it's probably got a new rotor in it. Get this fuel line off this filter. Stand on this brake rotor. That loosen up. Oh, that's on there, wow. Come on, there we go. <laughs> and then we'll slide ours on. Oh, wish I was taller, I should be getting you to do this. Hold that, bro. <laughs> Our fuel line's a bit stretched out, but whatever. Slide up there, baby. be able to tell if it leaks before we try to start it. All right. Okay, let's see here. Filter should be filling up. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out. Uh, we gotta plug it. Now it's spurting fuel. Yeah. <laughs> All that time with the electric fuel pump on. <laughs> All right, well, at least you uh, yelled loud enough. She must have been a bit low on voltage or it's plugged somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the key on. Let me know if anything comes out of the end of it. Yeah. How much? Lots. Okay. Was it ransom? Yeah, it was hard to tell. It was shooting towards the tire. Yeah.
technically it's a runner. Uh, the horrible exhaust leak and the wickedly out of tune carburetor are not doing it any favors. It needs the electronic ditched at the least, the exhaust leak fixed, and the engine checked over. I'm sure she's worked hard. And then uh, see how it would go. I think you'd be surprised how good it would work. The thing that gets me is how much better it would be with a Cummins is the weight distribution. That's what I'd do with it. For me, the simple solution would be a Cummins diesel. Super simple swap. You find a, even a two wheel drive Cummins rotten out with the engine in it. Put it in, it's already got the big heavy duty trans. Four speed. I try to find a five speed. I love the fact that she's running so fat that it set off the alarm in that airstream. And all right. Well, it's time to hit the road and find some more junkyards. But we'll be back to this thing. I'm going to see if I can drive it. And if you like this tow truck, make sure you hit subscribe because you have no idea what's coming. Like. We've turned into the Tow Truck Historian channel, at least temporarily. So stay tuned, because I'm going to come back and drive this. It's just a matter of time. You can tell though, and I hate to say it, because I'm a Dodge guy, do you think it got worked on a lot? Yikes. <laughs> That's the problem, is uh, without a Cummins, these trucks, yeah. I love them, but let's be honest. <laughs> There's a reason why the fender's worn down right there. It's from people working on it. All right, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button. You don't want to miss what's coming. It's free. See you soon, gang.